<clears throat> yeah. Screen recording. What's up, guys? JJ eight oh eight beats. Today I'm going to show you. It's a, it's a part two of the tutorial on how to make a custom charging sound on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch with the iOS fourteen. So, like I said, like like you need to open shortcuts. So it's a part two. It's it's for a base sixty four encode file. So uh, remember I said in my other video that uh, you can have a base 64 to encode file. So I'm gonna show you how to do that today. So what you need to do is, which I've already got one set, but I'm gonna create one to show you what to do. Um, so what you need to do is, um, so you wanna get the uh, audio file. What you need to do is download the base to 64 encode shortcut. I will uh, put the download link in the description below. So uh, make sure you uh, look at that description for that. So what you need to do, open that shortcut. Well, first of all, you need to go to settings, which mine's already off. I'm going to show you real quick. You go to settings. And you need to go to shortcuts. Shortcuts right there. You need to. Allow untrusted shortcuts off. You need to turn off allow untrusted shortcuts. Because if you don't, it'll bring up this um thing that says uh your shortcut security settings only allowed for trusted shortcuts but it won't hurt your phone or anything so so uh let's switch back over to shortcuts <clears throat> and uh you want to run that encode the base 64 shortcut and you need to click run shortcut running shortcut and what it'll do is it'll bring up the files like you just saw. It'll bring up the files where you can choose your audio file, right? So, um. I'm gonna use a sound effect, which. Actually, I'm going to use the air power charging sound. That's the one I used. So it's called connect underscore power. Um, link will be in the description for downloading that file as well. Um, so tap on, it's called connect underscore power dot AIFF, which I've already got my set, but I'm going to show you how to choose that based to 64 encode file. Selected. Connect underscore power. Audio. Nine slash. So. So what it'll do is, uh, if you're a voiceover user, if this freezes up, if your cursor freezes up, just kind of just keep touching the screen and just like, you see how mine touching the screen and just froze up a little bit. I don't know why that it is, but it's so weird. It's a bunch of code. It's a bunch of code and text that voiceover might not uh, be accessible with but what you need to do is click share 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 Let's see it froze up again share share it's a bunch of text stuff i'm sorry about the background noise all right so it brought up the share menu slow as heck but what's up i'm making a video dude i expand zoom pages more. Copy. So you need to copy that, copy, click copy, copy all that text to file. So it's a bunch of code if you see that, but it's voiceover. If you're a voiceover user, all you need to do is uh, click share and um, click copy. So next, what you need to do is um. Share i click down. Let me click down out of that. So, I ran the shortcut, so I got that file. 
And uh, y'all hear what it sounds like after I created it. But I'm not going to create it all the way because I've already got one set. But you're going to click create automation. When you go to the automations tab, go to click create automation. Create autom Cancel. New Cre create. create an automation. Set up home. Set create an automation. Create personal automation. You want to click create personal automation. Don't worry about the home hub or anything unless you got a home kit set up. But you don't need a home kit for what I'm doing here. So what we're doing here. So you need to go all the way down to the bottom. If you're a voiceover user, press uh, four fingers tap down on the uh, at the bottom of the screen. And uh, you'll uh, get all the way down to the bottom where it says charger. Click that. When charge is connected, is disconnected. Is connected. You want to double tap. It is connected. Is connected. New, new, next button. And uh, you want to um, click next. Next. Sir, dick tool. Redo. Un dictate. Sir, add action button. You want to click add action. Search for well, actually, I'm going to search, search it. So what you want to search for is text. Suggestion based on how you use web but dot me fake web document me fake sharing location scripted apps cancel dictate search for apps and actions search field double tap to edit in search field space cap r cap t t cap t text r e e v c x x since I'm making a video I cannot dictate it so I'm just type that in text search click search click search make rich text from more in new action neck action. Um, search, cancel. Apps. Safari. you don't click text that action at don't don't worry about the apps but go go to the next results it go to text. where it says text action double tap that or for me double tap that for y'all i can see click that text. Tool. Redo. so it's there Undo. Search. Add action. text action head next but text text field so you're gonna go to the text field and you wanna paste all that code that you copied. Space. Oh um. characters. Misspelled words. Edit. Paste. Paste. Oh. Um. So like I said, that text is it's a bunch of codes that Freeze up voiceover. I don't know if it frees up the whole screen, but it freezes up voiceover for some reason. It's it's weird. So don't worry about the freezing. Don't don't worry about restarting or nothing. If you can't get your if you can't get your phone to work at all, just press the home button. If I let me see if I can get on the work. Cause it froze up like crazy. It's it's simple, but you gotta get around all the freezing up. So I'm pressing. Oh, if you can't get anywhere, you press the home button and turn off voiceover. Voiceover off. And turn it back on. Voiceover on. FaceTime. One minute FaceTime call. By pressing the Screen home button switcher. three Screen times active. with the accessibility One shortcut. Shortcuts active. Home. Ask each time button. Oh uh, oh. God. Yeah, it froze up again. Like it's just it's this text is it's it's like weird. It's just it shouldn't freeze it up like that. P O return new auto action next button dot vertical add action button variables add action button. All right, you need. All right, next is unfroze. So, <sighs> all right. Um, sorry about that. It's the background noise. Um, you need to go to scripting button, location sharing, favorites button, scripting button, scripting. I think you need to go to scripting and go to files. Open up more control flow. More continuing more exit short. We're kind of more info. Repeat. Forgot how to do this. I haven't done it in two weeks, but y'all follow me as I'm doing this. 
more repeat more more wait more device more get device more set here more set blue tube oh, I think I, yeah you got to go to files and go to base in code the 64 more set more set to more set flashlight button yo more set low power mode more set playback more set volume more dictionary dic, more get more get dic, more set dic, more file base 64 and code button base 64 and code more generate hash more base 64 and Added base 64 and code to shortcut below text. All right, so n what you want to do is uh. Run, re, un, close, pl scripting, heading, close, sc close, toolbar, undo, close, script, add action, scripting, show more, button, and code. Show you more click show more on the base 64. And edit, mode, edit, input, activate, edit, edit, mode, and code. Edit, input, text, edit, mode, and code, activate, edit, mode, and code. Show more, and code, text, with base 64. Show more, button, sh expanded. And code, text, with base 64. Edit, mo edit, input, text, activate, edit, mode, and code. I think it's already set on decode, but I'm going to make sure it's uh, set on decode. So what you need to do... Mode, selected, and code, decode, button. So decode, button, select magic variable, decode, button. What you want to do is, so what I just did right here is, you know how VoiceOver got the actions menu when you swap your finger down? Like you're controlling the rotor? Use that. You click edit mode in base 64 encode when it says edit mode base 64 encode i think you heard it did you you want to it bring up it'll bring up a menu click decode scripting scripting heading add action so so what you need to do is next thing you need to do is the last yeah i think the next thing you need to do is go to Play sound. Make it play a sound. So, uh, you need add action again. Add action. New auto action. Next actions. Scripting. Close. But apps. Heading. Open app. But apps. Close. Scripting. Actions. Next button. Action. New automate. Action. Next actions. Scripting. Heading. Close. Close out of that. Close. Documents. New auto. Act. Next actions. Search for apps and actions. Search field. We'll search for play sound real quick. Cap P, Cap P J K L L K J A G F D F A. Play. K O I U Y Y space space play V C X H G F D F D S. Sound. P O I O O I U U N M N N G F D D. If you're the easiest way to do this is to dictate it, so Search. but I can't do that since I'm. Search. Using the mic Heading. to talk in my videos, so. Alright, to find this action, you need to go to add action, go to scripting, go to notification, and play sound, but the easiest way to search for it, click play sound right here. So, you want to show more on play sound? You want to click show more? Expanded. Sound file. Base 64 encoded button. Add action. Scripted. You mean you need to make sure it says base 64 encoded. So mine's already set. So let's see if it'll play the sound. Let's click run shortcut. Running shortcut. Stop shortcut. There you go. So that's that's how you do the encode to base 64 and encode file with that custom charging sound with that base 64 encode file to make it your own sound your own audio file all that but since i already got mine i'm going to delete this we'll cancel that um you want to cancel so i've already created that so as you see when ipod touch is connected to power text base 64 encode and play sound button all right when ipod touch is connected to power base 64 encode and play sound that's what i've already created so when your phone connects to power it'll play that sound so i hope you uh, uh find found this video helpful and uh make sure you like and subscribe to my channel and um and uh i'm gonna have more beats i'm sorry for the delay on beats i i'm about to put some more beats out here pretty soon my boys my my friend sent me a sample pack um with some nice melodies and stuff and what i'm gonna do is like chop i'm gonna make i might make a video this weekend about chopping them up and getting all of them into a beat making a beat with them and uh 
that video he might be in it as well so make sure you stay tuned for that and um like and subscribe to my channel like and subscribe to d cussa channel uh he put out a beat yesterday i think sunday he put out a new beat um so links will be in the description of the files and the the file that you need in the base 64 encode file if you want that file i used um oh uh, if you want that air power charging sound file um there will be a video in the description in the link in the description of a video and go to that link and uh you can download it from here so um hope you like this video and uh you can use any sound you want you don't have to use that sound if you got a a, a sample or an audio file that you would like to use for your own charging sound you can do that so i like that sound that sounds dope to me great um so hope you like this video and peace out